Welcome back to Las Vegas. You're looking at Steven Chitwick walking into the PokeGo studio as he is ready for the 25K Pot Limit Omaha final table where he go up against this guy, Ali Msirovich, walking into the studio from his home. There's Dylan Wiseman, the chip leader and PLO specialist who is obviously the favorite heading into this final table. There it is, the Golden Eagle, a 60-pound trophy that awaits the U.S. Poker Open overall champion, a championship which will be concluded on Monday night. Las Vegas is the place where it's all happening. It is hot outside and even hotter on the table as we have four cards in play for every player for some Pot Limit Omaha action. It's event number 10 of the 2022 U.S. Poker Open. My name is Rem Karinkama and alongside me, Donnie Peters, to provide you a one-hour free preview of the action before kicking it over to these two gentlemen. Ali Nijad and Len Ashby, who are on the call already on Poker Go, if you prefer to watch the action over there. Here's some stats. Dylan Wiseman, four caches, four final tables at the US Poker Open. However, even if he wins today, he will not be in the lead in the overall standings. However, he'll put himself in a great spot to do so. Uh, here's a look at the chip counts. Wiseman in the lead, followed by Kerry Katz, Matthew Wantman, Stephen Chitwick, Ali Msirovich, and coming up the rear is Isaac Kempton, who is in, in, in hot contention for the overall PGT lead. And today we are brought to you by Global Poker. Looking at this final table, of course, Chitwick in the mix as well. Donnie Peters, Pot Limit Omaha on the menu quite a few times during this series. Quite an exciting final table. It is an exciting final table. I don't know too much about PLO, <laughs> but I mean, I know you get four cards. Four cards is more than two, meaning you have more chances to win. Double the possibilities, is that, is that how, how it works out? Exactly, Aliyam Sirovich got himself a haircut. I was just gonna say, he looks pretty good there. Haircut in honor of Pot Limit Omaha, it looks like. $416,500 up for grabs as, as we look at the Storm X payouts of today's final table. Sixth place will receive 73500 Welcome to everyone watching on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. If you enjoy the content, Please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel right now, right this minute. That is all we ask for as we provide you, you this know, free preview of the action. No. And yeah. well, they, they four, got a flush. Four-color deck oh, in play, yeah. Donnie, well, it, meaning that even you and I can tell when someone has a flush. For all the prelims. Two aces for Wantman. Bad aces, the yeah, rainbow. Have fun. Good sport. They're still That's aces. Right. Have fun. Thanks, Steve. People in the Same chat, if you're chiming in, let us know where you're watching from. <laughs> We'd love to find out how international the crowd is today on the broadcast. <laughs> Pull me whatever you want. Sadly, no Phil Helmut shenanigans on today's live stream. However, we did post the full hand, the now iconic Queen 4 offsuit on our YouTube and Facebook channel. So if you want to go and check out that, that is uh, available right now. Carrie makes well, the call here. Last time I played here. a hand against you, you had a... My gut tells me it's a little bit of a loose call, but it's that's the last thing. I mean, we're going to need that's the expertise yeah, of Len so. Ashby to... Uh, yeah, we got the suited ace and the I mean, sad value. Could well, you have flopped any better? This is how <laughs> you crush a flop. You flop <laughs> middle set with a nut flush draw, this is just incredible. Wantman, of course, doesn't like the sight of the three connected cards and the flush draw, neither of which hit anything even remotely close to the cards in his hands. He checks the action. I think this is just a check full. Needed that flop again. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, time. that's a spot where I think a lot of people would just Not get married to having two aces in PLO, but it's about as bad as it can get. Sevens in the nut I mean, what flop was so far hand. from Wantman's <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie even admits that's a pretty good flop for me. Yeah. And he rakes in the first pot here at the final table. Yeah, they're Lots fine. of people chiming in in the chat. We appreciate it. This is indeed a free preview of the action. Len Ashby and Aline Jad will take you home tonight as far as the coverage goes of this PLO event. Tomorrow, another 25K no limit final table. And then the like biggest Got event it. of the whole series, the 50K Should no limit hold them to cap things off and decide who <laughs> will win the 50k the cash bowl. prize <laughs> along except with except that enormous gold trophy. The There's going to be a ton of people in contention for like the overall USPO bet. series He's title. Um, just depends on what happens in that that 50k, really. I mean, it, it does depend on what happens in this next 25k, <laughs> the one that's starting today. So we'll have to I'll see. 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 You know, if somebody at the top of the leaderboard ends up going on to win that one, they could, they could lock it up. But uh, it's very likely that it's all coming down to that 50k. 
Which, of course, is exciting because it keeps you locked in to play all these events for all the players in the field. The 50k top prize, the extra cash bonus is, of course, a nice incentive to hop in the 50k if you are still within striking distance of the win. Chitwick here with the suited ace 10. Kempton with the suited kings, which are dominated by the ace suit of Chitwick which really hurts his equity. You know Sitting on with? 11 Five, big blinds, seven. Kempton Start. decides to three bet pot, committing himself to this hand. I'm guessing this one goes in the muck. Beautiful sweater by Steven Chuk. I'm gonna have to <coughs> ask him where he got that. I believe that is Lululemon. Yeah, as I said it, 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 it looks familiar. Huh? Listen, the guys huh? love the Lululemon <laughs> out there. <laughs> Comfort. They all claim it's just the most yeah. comfortable yeah. stuff to play in. Charlie Carmen is asking, who won yesterday's final table? <coughs> I mean, yeah. up there. You, you had to have seen it to believe it. Not, but better. it was Eric Seidel versus <laughs> Phil Helmuth heads up. <laughs> and ultimately, Eric Seidel took it down. Full replay like available, that. commentary by Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks <laughs> on Pokego.com. Not more live. And if you're live. not yet a subscriber, use promo code USPO2222 to save $20 yeah. on the annual subscription. It's a perfect time to get in there. Keep telling Bills. people that. All right. Oh, there oh, it goes. All in. Kempton calls it <laughs> off immediately, and we have our first all in <laughs> shot on him, hand number two. This is very interesting. Look at the equities here. Despite being dominated on the suit, Kempton has 58% to double up here. Uh, the deuce I'm not really like sure Stevie could have hoped for any better. Like right. Equity-wise, you, you know. I see just any deuces? Again, I, I'm no PLO expert, but... <laughs> is, is, is the two in his hand, as, <coughs> as it refers to the... Or as it connects <coughs> to the wheel, enough to get it in here? Look at Kempton. Look at Kempton. Is he praying? What are you laughing at? No, it's <laughs> good mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Queen, 8-5 on the flop. Kings stay in the lead. Kempton very comfortable right here. Three outs for Chitwick in PLO. That's basically drawing dead. He does look nervous. Six on the turn. I'll do it. That's going to do it. That's going to lock it up. He's going to lock it up. Double up for Kempton here. That's in. Wow. I, said, I said it yesterday about Timon Nakamura, five how people need to get familiar with him. Uh, I think yeah, people need to get familiar with Isaac Kempton. Box, so he is the current uh, front runner on the 2022 PGT leaderboard for the entire season, not just for the USPO. He finished second to Tony Sinistage in the Win Millions $10,000 main event. And then he has taken those winnings that he won. Come on over here to the Poker Go Studio. He's been putting up some results here at the USPO, so it's great to see. Great to see indeed. Sounds like we got a new high roller on the scene. We do. We have a new high roller on the scene, and it's awesome to have new faces continuously entering the studio. I We're talking one. about it yesterday, saying that a few years ago, the US Poker Open and the Poker Masters were dominated by the Germans, and now no Germans at all. The Americans are completely crushing it. And here's a look at the PGT standings. Kempton indeed in the lead with 1,331 points, winning 1.2 million total, but no wins just yet for him in this calendar year. Tony Sinistaj, as Donnie said, in second place. Then Sean Perry, Nick Trangelo, and Ali Imserovic also in hot contention for the top spot. But Donnie, all that really matters at this point is staying in the top 21. Correct. So, well, I'll say that all that really matters is staying in the top 16 right now. Right. Because if you are in the top 16, you get an invite to the PGT Heads Up Showdown that is taking place in April. Um, so, you know, that's that's a beneficial thing to, to get into. Uh, that'll be a 32-player $25,000 buy-in heads-up tournament right here in the Poker Grove studio. I believe the dates are April 21st through 23rd. Um, but as you mentioned, the top 21 at the end of the season get into a $500,000 winner-take-all free roll. Um, the chips that you start with in that free roll will be based on the amount of points you finish with. So getting in that top 21 and staying there throughout the course of the season could be a half million dollar payday when it's all said and done. Absolutely wild. Oh, Never been better. seen before. Oh, that's it. <laughs> a year-long leaderboard culminating with that 500k free roll. 
Let's hear it in the chat. Who do you think will win the PGT overall? Well, this Dylan, year? four U.S. Poker Open events for you and four final tables. What has gone so well for you this series? Well, I ran well, because that, that is how you get to four final tables, for sure. Um, I also think that my process has been pretty good, both in terms of the study that I did beforehand, as well as how I took care of my body, my brain, all those things. It's, when you're battling against people who are very, very good, you have to be dialed. Like, you're not allowed to slack off, you're not allowed to lose concentration. And so I think that the combination of, of some run goods, as well as some preparation, is what helped me get here today. A strong finish for you today would at least put you in contention for that Golden Eagle trophy. Could you perhaps potentially wade into the No Limit Hold'em waters if you did well today? I mean, those are all some really nice guys, but I don't want to give them my money. <laughs> and they're much better than me at No Limit Hold'em, so I don't think I'm going to be contending this year. That being said, if I had done better in the earlier events, you probably would have gotten a max late reg out of me. But I don't think with where I am, it's going to be plus EV, given the fields. Those are really good poker players. Best of luck today. Thanks for the time. You. Thank you. Jeff Platt, of course, has exchanged the sweatpants for the suit for the last few events of the USPO as he'll be doing the sideline reporting and also some winter interviews here during the home stretch of this wonderful High Roller series at the Poco Studio in Las Vegas. Dylan Wiseman feels like he's too easy to root for. Yes. Too nice. How do you not root for that guy after that interview? I know. Wearing, wearing the dad sweater, wearing the nice sunglasses. Looks the part. Talking about being healthy before a poker tournament. What, what is that about? Get, get his brain right. <laughs> what happened to taking shots at the table? Here's Isaac Kempton. Crypto oh. trader. Here we go. Wow. Sounds like we need to get StormX on the phone, get this guy a sponsorship. Exactly. His career tournament earnings, of which he accumulated approximately 85% during this calendar <laughs> year, Donnie. 1.6 million is not far off from his total that he got this year. Chidwick severely short in the small blind right now. Action on carry cats. Looking at the ace 5 3 3 under the gun. That toss, tosses those into the muck. Look at the height of that chip stack from carry. Eat your heart out, Matt Savage. I need those glasses. Dylan Wiseman, where'd you get those? They look like Ray, are they Ray Bans? Oh, maybe they are. <coughs> Little purple flare on the, on the frame there. Beautiful. Ali's not folding. That's not how you make final tables. You don't get there by folding. About how much Look at the Ali? watch, by the way, Ali Amsirovich. Life is going well. He said that was a Perfect, present from a family member. Life is going well for the whole <laughs> family, then. <laughs> Equities ran close, and then the flop came out. Wiseman dominating here. Top hair, top kicker. Flush draw, gut shot. It's almost hard to read out all the combinations that he has. I'm always fascinated by the people that do so incredibly well at Potlum and Omaha. Like you see a few guys every single year that just excel so greatly, and Dylan Wiseman is one of them, that I'm always just so surprised. Speaking of Potlum and Omaha legends, Jord Van Hoof, my guy. Where's he been? I know. He's uh, had a child. As you know, that slows things down a bit as far as life goes. I mean, in a lot of ways it speeds things up, but yeah. Him <laughs> <laughs> sandwich with the bet. 200K. Wiseman makes the call. To the river we go. Guys are much uh, quieter than yesterday's final table. Absolutely, we're trying to listen <laughs> in to see if anything is going to be said. Imsirovich with the shove, however, <coughs> big decision for Wiseman. Top pair, top kicker is the winning hand. However, the fact that he hasn't just snapped this or hasn't folded this, snap folded this hand is like makes me feel like I'm so clueless when it comes to PLO. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to call. 
unfortunate. Nice end. He's so good blue. You gonna show that block? Oh, so kind. That's a block for sure. I folded. King. There's a 10 king in that hand. I folded all the cards <laughs> that he needed to. What's the rest of that? He wishes he had 10 king. I, no. I had all the cards in my hand. He was even worse than 10 king. Nothing for Ali Imsirovich, who gets a bluff through versus Dylan Wiseman. The best in poker entertainment is on PokerGo. Sign up or upgrade right now. Use the code USPO22 for $20 off the annual subscription. That, of course, includes all our upcoming high-stakes dual matches with, of course, first and foremost, another match between Tom Dwan oh, and Phil Hellman coming up in the spring. <laughs> and then we are rolling straight on through to the World Series of Poker. I just want to not have, I'm just like, it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I Donnie, I great. Donnie and I are going to be burying ourselves in Bally's, a.k.a. Future Horseshoe, and just live there for... Slash Paris. Slash Paris, live there for six months. We got we to gotta go, one of these days, we got to go scope it out and kind of get the lay of the land, see what's going on, find easy access routes to, to different things. You know, we don't want to be uh, lumped in with all the, the crazy people that are running around that thing, you know, during breaks and whatnot. We had the Rio all figured out. Back hallways, I know. you know, secret bathrooms, all that sort of stuff. We knew where to go, when to go. It's going to be like learning to ride a bike all over again. Exactly. <coughs> Let us know in the chat if you're going to be attending the World Series of Poker. Meanwhile, Stevie. Chitwick with the raise, or Kempton with the raise, I should say. Like Chitwick all in for 270. Looked like Ali uh, let two queens go pretty quickly there. Easy call for Kempton. We'll only have to toss in a few more Pretty to fair. get the showdown here. 640k in the pot. Important hand what for Kempton as well. Like as Chitwick My favorite. has a slight lead with the tens. Yeah, it's pretty close. Very, very close. Why does he have to have tens? Might not have gone all in with the 80. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, if you <laughs> enjoy the PokerGo community and all our live player, streaming, so we are also things. on Discord. <laughs> Discord.gg slash PokerGo. Over 1,500 members right now in our Discord. And we'll have another giveaway today. Exactly. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. King, Queen, wow. Jack, two hearts on the flop. Looks like someone has a Royal Flush draw. Did Ali M. Sirwich have the Queen of Hearts? I don't recall. Yeah. Chidwick has four <coughs> outs. Let's camp to flop the nut straight. Five of diamonds. Chitwick needs some help to stay alive here. King or a jack or Chitwick is gone. There it is. King on the river. Full house for Stephen Chitwick and he finds himself a double up. He's jumping with joy. That was unfortunate. <laughs> as Kempton <laughs> frowns. Seems as if Seven. nothing has changed since yesterday for this final table. <laughs> as I was saying, Donnie, discord.gg slash poker go. What are we giving Thank out you. today? Today, we're still in our celebration for surpassing 1,000 Discord members. This is the second of three days. We are going I to be giving away an Antonio Esfandiari signed deck. We gave away two of those yesterday. We're going to be giving another one uh, away today. A Nick so. Shulman signed deck of cards. A Nick Wright, the FS1 talk show host who competed against Phil Helmuth in high stakes duel. We're going to give a give away a Nick Wright uh, signed deck. And then we're also yeah. going to give away <laughs> that U.S. Poker Open felt today. Wow, the felt's today? The felt is today. Okay, so... Listen up. I think that, I think that, I thought that Saturday is a better day than Sunday for people watching, so, you know. I believe you, man. So we are giving away, pay attention, people. We're giving away a felt used during last year's U.S. Poker Open. You can frame it. You can refelt your home game table with it. Either way, phenomenal prize you for you to win. You can keep it as memorabilia, bust it out when your friends come over and say, check out this bad boy. Exactly. Oh. So. <laughs> Show us some love. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or, of course, if you're on Twitch or Facebook, hit that so follow cool. button as well. And just so everyone's clear, you have to be in the Discord channel, in the, in the on the server, in order to win. 
discord.gg slash poker go. Get in there, welcome, verify yourself, and then we will be in the giveaways channel at 6 p.m. Eastern time today, 3 p.m. Pacific. I feel like we all knew it was coming. What's that? I feel like we all knew it was coming. He's won like three 25k peels in a row. You can't stop the streak like that. <laughs> Not on that flop. How many is 10 with hearts ever win? <laughs> I just put a message in our giveaways channel on Discord. So if you're new, half a big, go look for that. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> I got that excited about it. Excuse me, action uh, between Kempton and Wiseman. I'm excited about that. Uh. There's just like a whole lot of nothing on this board. Which Donnie is intently staring at the cards. I mean, it's just, it's to look for it's a way. Great. It's great to learn. Like, true. I know how good Dylan is at PLO. And all these guys are obviously very good. Genius player. <coughs> you reached, you found out. Dylan Wiseman, professional player yeah. from Los Angeles, yeah. graduated from? U UC there, Santa yeah. Barbara. Financial Jared math Wiseman. and statistics, I am not player. surprised. <laughs> and he, of course, oh also a poker coach. <laughs> Polymer Omaha coach, to be more specific. We really miss Blaz. Do we? In the <laughs> <laughs> Do we really? He has one the other. live tournament victory <laughs> on his resume coming into this event. <laughs> And it came last draw. October during the yeah. World Series of Poker. He won the 1K well, PLO tournament for $166,000. <laughs> PLO expert, Dylan Wise. Thank you. 120. Matthew Wantman, also a PLO expert. You know, every, every time he comes to the studio, he seems to only play the PLO events. He even said it to Jeff Platt for uh, Dylan Wiseman. I think the same will go for maybe for Wantman. He's not going to muck it up with the No Limit Hold'em specialists, even though he is in contention for the overall championship. People are, people are craving more Phil Helmy's action in the chat. Hopefully Helmut <coughs> makes the final table today again of the 25K because that was a true spectacle at yesterday's stream. You can watch the full stream on Pokemon.com. I mean, just make sure you go to our YouTube channel and find that video of the Queen forehand yesterday <laughs> <laughs> because it's just probably the greatest hand of all time. Osterios on Twitch says... There is really no tournament going on. They just pick famous people for the final. It is all scripted. That, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, man. That's exactly what we do. Come on down to the PokerGo studio in Las Vegas if you are in town. You can walk right in and look at some of your favorite local players. Get a picture with Phil Helmuth a when he's on break. Dan Legrano is always up for a photo as well. Maybe he'll even sign a deck of cards if you bring one. Yeah, uh, if you're calling, mind, you're you can just walk in here and, and play these King events. It's open to everyone. A little look at Matthew Wantman's bio from Stone Stoneham, Massachusetts. Is that close to where you're from? <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's not super close, but close enough. His first, <laughs> his first recorded cash was smaller than mine, only $547 ever since. I've, I've won absolutely nothing. And he's been killing it. So you, you added two 25k no limits for Cyprus? No, one. One. So there's still a bunch of days out. I mean, there's, well, no. I need to be playing short deck. I'm not playing short <laughs> You know who I'm missing? Sean Perry. Yeah, he played a couple of the earlier events, but hasn't been around since. Right. They were they were talking about him out in the field the other day, just kind of wondering, you know, where, he, where he's been, what's, he's, what's he, he doing. Um, I, I did see on his, on his Instagram that he was... Uh, Caring to his new puppy. Oh, important. So I know all about that. Maybe he's got enough money, right? He can get someone to care for the puppy for a couple hours a day while he <laughs> comes and wins some tournaments. <coughs> My guess is he'll show up for the 50K because I feel like that's what Sean Perry does. I mean, he just kind of he goes by the beat of his own drum. So for people asking where the studio is located, it's just a short walk from the Aria Poker Room. 
So if you are at the Aria Poker Room, ask someone for directions. It's a short walk. You go outside, you go down the walkway, and it'll be on your right yeah. hand side. Yeah, there's a big sign that says Poker Go Studio yeah, and 12 foot yeah. high playing cards <laughs> on the wall. Exactly. Cannot miss it. Exactly. <laughs> Cannot miss it. I like these cards. Pretty good. Anspit really? says, I'm watching this both on YouTube big. and like Twitch. Can I get a shout out? Oh, really there I you go. Like Appreciate it. Maybe for PLOs is better. For Nolan, I like the bigger ones a lot better. <laughs> Multiple comments, Donnie, saying, seems like Chidwick is at every single one of these final tables. That's true. We think the same thing. But like that guy said earlier, we just yeah, hand pick him. <laughs> and put him there. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And then everyone plays down to play around Steven Chidwick. I you mean, can say the same thing about Ali Msirovich. Yeah. He's true. at every final table. Chid Chidwick had his breakout during the 2018 How long US until Poker you like TLO more than No Limit, though? That's the question. Probably never. <laughs> I just l really love No Limit. <laughs> Back then, during the first why. ever US Poker Open, Ch Chidwick, I believe, won three tournaments and made five final tables and completely crushed the overall standings. And ever since, there's been he no slowing him down. Right? Yeah. Come out of retirement once a month. For like main event type tournaments and stuff. <laughs> I'll play the 25K today. Uh, you're, you'll be in the running, I guess, right? Oh, there you go. No. Matthew Hallman, he will get into 25K after this one is done. I mean, if I do after really good in this one and then whatever. like really good in another. Then I'm you're, yeah. I mean, you saw what Adamo did. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Literally, like, came in like. That's what DP did last Europe. USPO as well. I had a massive lead that he just wins like the last two. I was like, all right. <laughs> he did it twice. Huh? He did that twice. No, uh, the last USPO uh, DP. Oh, DP came in and won the last he, he, couple of events. Yeah. Yeah. It was so brutal. <laughs> Forgot. We're talking about David Peters. Oh, I, I can imagine. Two-time defending it's USPO probably gonna champion. Probably going to happen this USPO too. I hope so. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be good for you. <laughs> The 50k, of course, at the end, hands out the most points, but you're still going to need some in order to have a chance to win the overall standings. And as I'm sure which said, Peters walked into the door, won the last two events at the series series last year to take home the trophy. As I'm sure which finished in second place. Like 1.7. Me? Mm -hmm. About the hand, I had 2.2. Oh, okay. You're way more. Than that. Double <laughs> suited for Wiseman here as well as I'm sure which. Less, like 2.1. All suits are covered here. We got green, blue, black, and red. Let us know in the chat. Do you enjoy the four-color deck? I, I enjoy it for this. I think it helps. Makes I our job easier. Would you colors. like playing okay. with the four-color deck? I play online with the four-color deck. Live, I, I don't like it. I he played some couple live things with, with the four-color deck, and I, you know, that can just get fired to the moon as far as I'm concerned. Wiseman with the lead here, equity-wise, picking up the flush draw. Is somehow still in the lead. Tim says, What about that Phil Helmich swear jar? Yeah. We'd all be broke such if we were free float. paying for. Okay, but what if it's every time he swears, he's got to like put $5 in? That, that'd be awesome for us. And then we get the We'd be playing the 50K. We'd be playing the 50K, absolutely. <laughs> He knows I'm a fish, and I'll just call any four. <laughs> the coin flip for his life. <laughs> I was tilted because he bluffed me. Don't want him to bluff me again. That's the today for $420,000 in this 25k <laughs> PLO. Yeah. 1.2 million dollars will be Take distributed among thing. these <laughs> final six. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I guess if you're enjoying the show, I please smash I like. I don't think it's bad and hit at all. subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Says the guy three betting. We had a thousand likes under the gun one on every video so far this week. <laughs> I thought. I think that was. Don't correct. let us down. <laughs> I, I checked. I'm pretty sure that that was right. I'm just teasing. <laughs> like, I don't know. He's a great player, man. I wouldn't question him. I mean, you should question I me. Didn't. I get. I get a lot of shit wrong. Just, you know. Oh, it was just a joke. My bad on that. Trolling, one. right? <laughs> yeah, we're just. Or maybe trolling. Just exactly, all, you said that fun. We're having a good time just, here. This is fun. Guys, playing some cards. Playing some cards. Maybe make a few bucks. Fun group. Like yeah, just a few bucks. Confirm fun group. Um, you know what? Uh, gotta be honest with uh, you. One three. I like my last table better. 
Pretty sure I was there. Let me say this. If we hit 1,000 likes Don't on the stream the during this first old. hour, <laughs> we'll <laughs> give away a signed deck of cards in the YouTube chat right in this very moment. So 1,000 likes on the stream before the end of the hour. On we'll give away a sign of cards. This is why Isaac's really challenging to play Among Us with. Well, you put me on the spot. Exactly, you don't <laughs> know what level he's <laughs> he do, do some talking, Donnie I'll is, figure it out. Donnie goes, goes into his phone right like, now. Because I have I have a photo <laughs> saved of, of the, and he, like, the inventory he the that we have. He, he like, put his head down. Sign deck inventory. That was terrifying. like, is he really talking? I was like, put the head down. Giant thought. I was scared. I didn't want to this one goes to Kerry Katz, who <laughs> bets with top pair, top kicker, and Servich kicks his king into the bucket. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, we're going to do Antonio, Antonio <laughs> Esfandiari, the magician. That is the lovely mm. music of the Poker Go promo. The best in poker entertainment on Poker Go. Only use promo code USPO22 for $20 off the annual subscription. That, of course, includes. High Stakes Duel, High Stakes Poker, the World Series of Poker, and all our owned and operated series. Poker Masters coming up in the fall as well as the Super High Roller Bowl. And Donnie, this tunnel, I've driven through it. I hey, love this tunnel. Right? I love tunnels in general. Your tunnel? I absolutely love them. Big oh my gosh. So every time, this one's on the way to the airport. Yep. Um, formerly McCarran Airport, now I think it's Harry Reid International. Um, Las Vegas Airport, as far as I'm concerned, but yeah, that's the tunnel that goes under the runway. I love tunnels, man. Love them. Uh, Big time tunnel guy. I think there's just out huge there. tunnel guy. I didn't give hear them announced. Give me the feel of being in was, was a big oh, city, <laughs> like New York, Philadelphia, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Some of the most epic tunnels were the ones on the way to San Remo. Oh my God! Remember those ones? Yes. Like through mountains, looking over the coast, like that. That just that was crazy. I missed the. I missed. The, I missed the French Riviera. <laughs> uh, this is a one-hour preview. For those who are just tuning in, we will switch over to Ali Najad and Len Ashby, providing commentary on the rest of this final table. We're just getting you guys warmed up. As Len and Ali probably have yeah. plenty of the generous gambling <laughs> stories to tell. Listen, if you want to <laughs> learn PLO <laughs> and get fast. some good PLO insight, Len Ashby's the guy. I mean, it's, he really is incredible. Top-tier player, so plays a ton of high-stakes PLO cash. Could be worth it. You, you know, I would for sure on head on over to Poker Girl and listen <laughs> you to you the, the memes, Stevie? Do the commentary like, what's up? The memes, like the staring memes? Have you seen any of them? A couple of them got sent to me, yeah. Do you enjoy them? I thought it was funny, the one I saw. It feels like uh, Aliyam Servich has lost about 20 pounds just by getting a haircut. Looks, he looks fast and aerodynamic. That's okay. <laughs> that could just be the shirt. It's, 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 it's trademarked. It's the Aliyam Servich shirt. Kerry, Kerry what? Won the first hand and hasn't played hand since? Gary Katz is probably the best player in the world as far as maneuvering his chip set. 465 behind. To a spot in which he has full control of his own yeah. tournament life. Closer than I probably think it is, but I think it's. I'd say Helmuth and Kerry have similar styles in that way. Here's where they, one. you know, aren't afraid to let a few spots go, go by until they find a better one. Um, I think Kerry is about a million times more oh, composed than Mr. Helmuth. I was gonna say more adult-like, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> composed is, is one way to put it. Absolutely, <laughs> Helmy the Force had a complete meltdown on yesterday's stream. He had like four, four, melt four meltdowns. <laughs> I mean, it was just wild. Correct. <laughs> Tobias says, "If you li if you guys like tunnels, come to Switzerland." Um, I'm I've, in. I've never been to Switzerland. I'd love to go. Either have I. I feel like you have to be ultra rich to go to Switzerland. I went. I la I landed in the airport once. Yes, yeah, same. Bottle. Landed in the and the airport was incredible, by the way. Yes. Which is exactly what I expected when I was landing in the Swiss airport. If you do sign up for Poker Go, know that you can watch every single season of high stakes poker, even the old school ones. And we have new episodes being released every Monday until mm -hmm. about midway it's through May, different. and we are doing watch parties on our Discord channel every single night. We had Maria Ho uh, doing Q&A on our Discord last week. We're probably going to have Negranu on every single time that he plays. 
he told us he wants to do Q&A for his episodes. So that's all going to be part of the Pokego community, and we'll do plenty of uh, AMA Q&A style uh, conversations during the WSOP as well, and uh, maybe some live podcasting as well. But yeah, Season 9 of High Stakes Poker, in case you were not aware, has been spectacular so far. Some incredible hands featuring Jennifer Tilly on last Monday's episode. Negrano has been involved in a lot of battles with Tom Dwan. It's been tremendous so far. Meanwhile, some action. Three clubs for Wiseman, but he is considering it. Oh. Well. Kempton with a three bet with the ace king 5 3. Here we go. Blind versus blind. A little blind battle, and Kempton does not have much behind Donnie. Feels almost as if. I think he's got 300,000 behind. Feels almost as if this is like whatever flop comes, he needs to just commit. And he hits the ace. Owen. Owen. And a call. Is that it? This is one of those PLO spots where Wiseman is ahead wow. equity wise, oh but God. behind. Wow. wow. How do you an actual win? real hand value. <laughs> There's hardly oh, wow. enough space on the monitor <laughs> to display the 16 outs <laughs> luck, that Wiseman has to send Kempton he to has the rail. The king, so that's bad. It's like a flip. It's a flip. I think I'm a slight favorite. Yeah. Also not yeah. factored in there. Backdoor clubs. Well, yeah, no I know he has three of them in his hand, but backdoor clubs could come in as well. There should be a second row. And there's one club. Four clubs in the turn. <laughs> 22 <laughs> outs. Last I checked, there were 52 cards in the deck. Three, this <laughs> this is a funny screenshot. Look at all those outs. Short oh. stack, obviously. Yeah, he, right. he does need to pray. Running clubs Again. send Again. Kempton Again, to the rail as we are Again. down to five players Again. at today's 25K Hot Limit Omaha final table. Table Wiseman extends the chip lead over three million chips, closing in on half the chips in play with five remaining players. 73,500 is the payout for and Kempton, who will likely register the 25k in hopes of catching Tamon Nakamura on the overall US Poker Open Championship standings. Let us know in the chat, who are you rooting for? You hoping for Wiseman to take it down, or maybe you're on Team Chitwick? And while you're at it, in the chat, please smash like and subscribe to our channel. It's much appreciated. It helps us out a lot. We're going to try doing as many of these free streams for you as possible. Having said that, today is a free preview you for one be hour. Big tip but if you lost that you one. already got to enjoy <laughs> eight full length streams of I the US Poker Open fun, on our done. YouTube, Facebook, and I Twitch channel. So if you've missed <laughs> any of those free streams, <laughs> you can find them <laughs> most easily on YouTube, but also on Facebook. Yeah. Kempton moved up to 175 right? points yeah, yeah. on the USPO leaderboard. Good job, either way. Currently yeah. in 14th we did not place. Let it go yeah. Obviously, we know that there's going to be some results to come from this final table, but he's very much within striking distance of taking that series title, okay. depending on what happens in those last two events for him. Mmm. Too bad it's not a cash game. Not a good 10 high. Wiseman, all business at this final table. Looks focused, determined, and clearly knows that he has a massive, massive chance here to secure a huge Omaha win. Pretty sure I used to have those same sunglasses. Pretty sure you lost them pretty quickly. I broke them. like 1.2 carry? Incredible. That's 900 on the bottom. So but they weren't, like they weren't the same four. color frame. Yeah, it's more than 1.2. <laughs> but same sunglasses. For those a, asking about the giveaway right? on Discord, yeah. so all you have yeah, to do is be in the, the giveaways right. channel. I you meant well, you're going to have to click purpose. a button when the, <laughs> like, the, well, so annoying to when the giveaway happens. But yeah, you got to be in there, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, really yeah, I got a million. to enter yourself. Yeah, it's free. It's all you got to do. You just got to sign up for the Discord. Discord.gg slash PokerGo. Nice and simple URL to get in there. Right. Jones is about to big dick everybody. As he folds the button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak, tight, Ali. Weak and tight. You should know this about me by now. I'm scared. Don't you snap you with ace queen? <laughs> That's fine. <fun>. Weak and tight. <laughs> weak and tight. Jack, heads up. I literally had the perfect hand to fold that river with, which is awful. <laughs> An ace and jack, and then it was like all the bluffing cards. So I was like, this is awful. I wanted to call too. <laughs> Check. 
Two pair for Chitwick here. And the ace blocker against any potential flush draws. Or a whole lot of nothing. You look at the average winning hand in PLO. Winner at 150. He takes it down with a quick bet. That's good. Pretty good flop for a really bad hand. Yeah. Ugh. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Felt like you. I had a lowly pair. Well, Isaac, take us through what what certainly looked to be an an emotional roller coaster ride for you today. Oh man, uh, it was very exciting. I came in with by far the shortest stack. Thought for sure I was gonna immediately bust, most likely. But then I got a quick double up through uh, Chidwick in a pretty standard spot. Just had kings against like ace king ten, and then I lost a few pots, chipped down until I was short the shortest again. And I just ended up in a spot against uh, my good friend Dylan Weissman, uh, blind versus blind, just really short stacked, like 15 big blinds or something. And I, I don't know, I just had a pretty good hand, so I figured I'd just go with it because he's probably opening a lot of hands into me and got unlucky. I had like top pair against pair in a straight draw, backdoor to flush. thought it was kind of standard, but what can you do? Unlucky. Unlucky indeed. And you're pretty new to Vegas. You're pretty new to this Poker Go studio. Two final tables in three days for you. What's your U.S. Poker Open experience been like? Oh, it's been great so far. Uh, I love the events. I love the free food. I love the atmosphere. Uh, I love the PLO tournaments mainly. Uh, I'm mainly a PLO player, and uh, there aren't a lot of PLO tournaments that, um, apart from this one, just the World Series, I think. So it's just been a lot of fun playing in here and getting to play lots of PLO. And finally, Isaac, you're number one right now on the PGT leaderboard. Is that a position that you look to actively hold on to and protect? I'm going to try, but I got to be honest, some of these Hold'em tournaments are pretty scary, and uh, I have to do some soul searching and decide if I'm going to fire the 50K and the 25K, but I'll get back to you soon on that, but I think so. I Sounds th I good to us. So. Appreciate the time. Thank yeah, you. No problem. It's incredible how one short Jeff Platt interview can make you a fan of a certain player, Isaac Kempton, well spoken, down to earth motivated to play uh, more PGT events in uh, in 2022. Donnie, can we just lock him in for the top 21 at the end of the year? Yeah, he's, he seems great. Um, he's, he's fun and chatty at the table. Uh, obviously, you know, we all saw him there in the interview, very well-spoken. Sounds like a very uh, well-rounded, sound-minded. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope he continues to play all the PGT events. You know, most immediately the 25k and 50k here at the USPO, which I and I know he kind of couched a little bit. I'm gonna say he's gonna get in there, at least the 25k, and then go from there. So, uh, Jeff Platt in the chat saying, "Great interview. Um, couldn't have said it any better myself, Jeff. <laughs> well done, well done. Appreciate the dress up as well. The move from sweatpants to a morning? suit is much yeah. appreciated. Uh, shout out to Della Neutral no on yoga? YouTube says thanks for the it's presenters on Poker Go donating two no, euros. I take the, I take the two well. euros, Donnie. It's right up my alley. Haven't I held a euro in a while, but uh, how much is that USD? Is that like it's seven two, or like a dollar fifty? That's a 220. You ever do yen? Oh, okay. You have a home gym, right? Like restored up? Yeah, that's what I prefer. Got it. Focus looks at the table. We're five handed in this 25k PLO. If you're just tuning in, Action continues on PokerGo.com right after the end of the first hour. Finally, some positivity in the chat. But all it took was for Jeff Platt to show up. We we need the real stars and celebrities to get the people in a in a positive mindset. It's kind of kind of amazing. Donnie, we should just walk out. I don't want to walk out yet. I know. This action has been good. Servic versus Wiseman as he kicks him into the muck. Three fives for Katz. <laughs> that is not a great feel of him. I even had you kicked on the clean. More for Wiseman. Three dead guards. Not good. Della Neutral follows it up and says, y'all can split those euros and save up for a trip to Switzerland. I'm in. <laughs> Phenomenal. I may have made a really bad fold. Zenny Eyewear, one of the presenting sponsors of the U.S. Poker Open. I know the failing. No cool sunglasses today besides Dylan Wiseman at the final either, table. Actually. I had a very big hand. Sounds yeah, like Zenny needs to send us some. Yeah, I'd wear them. Oh, nice. I ace king jack six, but suits a jack. What team is that hat that Pocket Pocket is wearing? Is it like a... Makes sense. Is it a sports team? <laughs> yeah. 
I honestly have no idea. Let us know in the chat. Like wow. like so the king wasn't coming. Chili pepper or something. A chili pepper I with a baseball? Is that what I saw? Well, you had an ace, though. Yeah. I'm I guess going to the Google machine. Sure. Matthew's yeah. asking, do you have to get the Pokego app to get a subscription to watch Tops high stakes, or is it on the website? It is on the website. Yeah, Pokego.com. Every, every 1097 quadruple that. suit. Can you believe it? <laughs> Weak and tight. <laughs> My mantra. Get it in if I have it. <laughs> I go it if I don't. And if you're signing up for Pokego, use the promo code USPO22. To save $20 on the annual subscription. I got nothing, man. Nothing? I mean, there's the Tri-City Chili Peppers, but it's not exactly the same logo, so I just don't, I don't know for sure. Tri-City, what's that area? Good question. Dylan Wiseman final says table. says Colonial Heights, Virginia. Oh, wow. That's where they're located. Uh, Dylan Wiseman final table. Every PLO event of the series, including the Big Bad Mix. Must be nice. There's nothing more fun than the minor league baseball team names across the country. There's some really funny ones out there. The Salt Lake City Bees. I mean, all, all these chili peppers are swinging a baseball bat. No one's, no one's holding total. a baseball. Ace, king, queen, three for Wiseman. One suit. Oh, it's wiffle ball. That's why. Wiffle ball? Yeah. They have a league for that? Where, where? <laughs> Where's the pot? Revealing Where's the stuff. Uh, Chipping with the kings makes a pot size raise. Owen. Oh. All in a call here. Oh. Chidwick at risk for his tournament life. 1.5 million in the middle. 60 40 in Chidwick's favor. With Pocket Kings one suit. For CA's King Queen also with one suit. Let's see if Chidwick can find a double up. And if not, Wiseman will be the down. runaway chip leader. <laughs> with a straight or two pair? Got him. Sure. You if found it? Queen four, Ace King Queen four. Yes. I'd be, I'm I pretty sure win, the people that queen queen own this league, I used to play Ace soccer with all. I didn't even fucking think wow. about that. Yeah. Premier League Wiffle, <laughs> phenomenal. They they actively stream like wiffle ball games and stuff. Like from I think from someone's backyard, they basically built a stadium. Jack four <laughs> seven on the flop, <laughs> rainbow <laughs> flop there. <laughs> Backdoor flush draw still alive for Please. Wiseman. <laughs> if there's no diamond on the turn, so all you can hope for is an ace. Then we'll just vote on what card we want. All right, I want the ace. They're called Anything the Cajuns. Seven of diamonds on the turn. That diamond is one of the cards that Wiseman was looking for in order oh, to keep his hopes alive of knocking out Stephen Shidwick. Five of diamonds? Let's look at the river. Oh, the eight six gets there. It's out there. <laughs> Four of You're clubs right about the on the river, securing a double <laughs> up for wow. Steven What did you say? What's he be seven one? Unbelievable. I think it's seven fifteen. Seven one five. Tell me he's definitely on or something. <sighs> Matthew Wantman, number fifty five okay. for the Cajuns. No way. Yes. He's played four games. He's had five at bats. Doesn't look like he's had any hits so far. Four strikeouts. Wow. Certainly needs to work on his wiffle ball game, but you know, I can't hit a wiffle ball to save my life. So don't don't look at me. From here on out, all bat plays by Matthew Wallman really will be referred again. to as strikeouts. Which one? Uh, at queen three instead of queen four. Oh, uh, you get to choose your hands? Well, <laughs> I would have folded it if I'd you're forgotten calling. about it. Yeah. You get to the, choose. The queen what, three what was a too low. I needed the queen four. 
some omen. If you're enjoying the stream, please smash that like button on the video and subscribe to our channel, Sorry, whether you're watching on Twitch, on Facebook, or on okay. YouTube. We much appreciate the I love. I probably still wouldn't have the discipline to fold it. I wonder if we can get 10 more YouTube subscribers in the next minute. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go. Kerry Katz continues to receive mediocre hands, keeping him in the folding mood. Donnie is watching Wiffle Ball live right now. Oh, I'm just, I'm just showing you. Oh, you're showing me. Yeah, just you know, this is this is what goes on. I kind of want a Premier League wiffle. I want to I want to try wiffle ball. Looks like fun. one seventy five. And that was the Cajuns right there. That's phenomenal. Matthew Woman, number fifty fifty five for the Cajuns. <coughs> Jeff Platt or Jimmy Bu Jimmy Bluffett makes a good point. He says shop dot dot com, Donnie. That is that is where you can get the best poker merchandise on the planet. Ten seconds. Shop.pokergo.com has hoodies, t-shirts, hats, cards. Well, I think there's coasters on there. Uh, coffee mugs, maybe. Memorabilia items, collectible items. we got signed photos, signed felts, that sort of stuff is all on there. Shop.pokergo.com. Huge hand. We got this new, these new PGT stuff. Those I'm are, wearing one. Those are cool. Uh, huge hand developing, meanwhile, as we are... Ten seconds. Just joking around, Waltman versus Chitwick. Chitwick with a big free bet. And that was enough to get Waltman to fold. So yes, shop.pokergo.com. Go check it out. We have a cool Mount Rushmore-esque high-stakes poker hoodie. And plenty more to come during the WSOP. Jimmy Bluffett nails it again. He says, join our Discord channel. Also that, discord.gg slash pokergo. We have 15, wait, how many do we have now? Let me, let me see. We have 1,548 members in the Discord. 1,548. For all your poker talk, Vegas recommendations, strategy discussions, maybe some good old banter with Tim Duckworth, who's always messing, messing up in there with his terrible strategy advice. <laughs> um, Remco and I are in there. Jeff Platt's in there. Brent Hanks is in there. Gen Daniel Negreanu is Daniel on Discord. Daniel Negreanu's in there. Um, Maria Ho. Maria Ho. I believe Phil Helmuth is even in there. So hop on in there. And um, our, uh, our slot machine phenomenon. I guess 125 total. More chips for Chidwick. Continues to chip up, approaching two million here. Firmly in second place behind Dylan Wiseman. I asked for 10 subscribers, I got 20. I think we did pretty well. That is the Ch Stephen Chidwick music. Love the 80s vibe here. Where the Eagle has landed in the first three series. Chidwick, of course, winning the first one for 1.2 million total. Then Peters, 1.5, and Peters again for 832K. But who will be the champion this year, and where will that 60-pound Gold Eagle trophy go to? And 60 pounds for all of you, all of you counting at home. I mean, it's, it's legit 60 pounds. It's nearly 30 kilos. It's ridiculous. It's so heavy. If a foreigner would win it, they would probably leave it here because it's too heavy to take home. Remember Julian? Well, Car right now, Timon Nakamura from Japan <laughs> is the front runner on the leaderboard, so he'll have to head all the way back to Japan. When He's going to have to have his own suitcase. Right. It wouldn't, it's, it's an overage for one suitcase. What, what one suitcase is 50 pounds. Which suitcase is going to fit the giant eagle? Uh, I don't know, man. You have that, to that Brent Hanks has to figure that out. That's his thing. Let me say this. When Julian Gardner finished second in the WSB main event in 2002, I think, or did he finish second to Scott? You know, he finished second to, second to Robert Varconi. 2002, he booked an extra seat on the airplane for the <laughs> duffel bag full of cash that he flew home. Well, that's just awesome. So it's I ridiculous. think Timon Nakamura. I can definitely, I'm not supposed to fold it for chips, but no, no, I just don't think he's rebending like right there. Sorry guys, I got carried away there. 
Everyone's playing with yeah, Stephen Dillon. Yeah. I know, absolutely. Dude, the eyes are with the Ace King 5 too. Mitchell Aiken says Golden Eagle's a doorstop. It's a pretty good doorstop. Oh, yeah, that was a third. That's for a castle. <laughs> That's a full of yeah. three back. Yeah. Like literally everybody's like super easy. I just thought Stevie Queens had Queens for it Chitwick there. here in the lead Stevie versus Wiseman. Yeah. I don't know. He could have like Ace, Queen, Jack, Nine, mm -hmm. Double. Yeah. I, I thought he was close That's to the bottom. Did you? Really? Yeah, I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Jack. Oh, God. I think he threw that in. Close to three, but I just didn't want to. Wiseman picks up the flush draw on the turn. Equity's still running very close here. Yeah, he's playing so tight. For those that are asking for free high stakes poker, there's a weekly clip being released every Tuesday morning from the episode of that week. So at least if you don't want to subscribe to Poker Go, you get a free clip every week. Or you could just subscribe yes. to an annual subscription. Yes. Use the code USPO22. Get it for twenty dollars off the price, seventy nine ninety nine a year. You pay it one time. Right. And then it's free after that. That's true. That's a good point. Free for a year, right? That's what you, that's what happens. You just pay it once, and then it's free for a year. And if that's how you look at it mentally, think of it that way. And if you play one to no limit, you've probably won. You probably won an eighty dollar pot this year. That's good. That's all. That all. That's all it takes. And then, of course, you also get the WSOP. I feel great. I get high stakes poker, high stakes duel, a right. whole bunch of goodies. <laughs> Ace of spades on the river ruins Stephen Chitwick's day. Plus Maybe that's a little much, but ruins at least his hand for him. You don't know what he's thinking. Could ruin his day. Is it? Well, like, yeah. Wiseman backs oh, into a flush. Jack yeah. Yeah, I mean, Chitwick has the queen of spades. But I doubt <laughs> that's going to be enough for him to go for it. Ten seconds. Okay. Very interesting spot here. Chibik, of course, thinking about bluffing. You're playing well though. Seems like you studied a bit. Last night I did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah that's right. Eight hundred. I thought you were going to kill me. I feel about everybody's too loose. So it's probably not good. Big bet from <laughs> Chidwick. Yeah. Oh wow, he snapped. You got nice it. call. That's good for us. Ten high flush. Snap call from Wiseman who picks up a massive pot and you hear him in the background. Wantman and Imsirovich are saying that's good for us as Chitwick is now the shortest stack at the table just below Wantman and Imsirovich. Wiseman with a stranglehold on this final table with five players remaining and Kerry Katz is sitting comfortably in second place. ICM pressure could not be much higher <laughs> for almost the entire table at this point. Fifty-six percent of the chips in play. That's wild. Look at My those stats. Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Perry style, huh? <laughs> we, we can tie it. <laughs> you, you didn't want to. Brian check Jones is saying, "So are we calling the queen for the helmets now?" <laughs> yes, we are. Twenty-five. Correct. Oh, it's the <laughs> fill. The fill. Yeah, he don't have to. He don't have to call that bet. <laughs> Aces for cats here with the suit. Race 100,000. Have the blinds gone up at all? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the cash game? Feels like it. Very reasonable. Been getting a lot of these hands. But doogie. <laughs> Small one for cats, but even those matter right now, given the chip positions. 
as we are approaching the end of this one hour free stream. We'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Action continues on Pokego.com right now as Ali Najad and Len Ashby are on the call to take you home and to see who will win this 25K PLO final table. And tomorrow, we'll be back with a preview of the 25K No Limit Hold'em final table that is now underway. If you go on over to PGT.com, you can follow the live reporting headed up by Brandon Bloom and Tim Duckworth as we have 31 players so far in this 25K No Limit, including some of your favorite names. We're going to have Helmut and Negreanu in action, Timon Nakamura, the current USPO leaderboard leader, and of course, Dan Smith, Alec Fox, and a whole bunch more big names playing right now in that 25K. We'll catch this final hand here on the stream, so head on over to Pokego.com right now and save on the okay. annual subscription by using promo code USPO22 to get in the game. Wiseman with the raise, three clubs. Chivik has two of them from the big blind. Makes the call. 280 more, correct? Correct. Thank you. Did you just say 280? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's just a wizard. There's no other explanation for it. I wish I was as smart as Dylan Wiseman. He's a wizard. Chidwick's a robot. Here we go. Queen 7 6 on the flop. Top pair for both players. Chidwick has the better kicker. Wiseman, however, has an another pair to go with it. Queen 10. Sorry, Queen 6, excuse me. Queen 10 is much better for me. Queen 6. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Eight outs for Chitwick. He needs a king excuse of 7 me. or a 5 to stay alive in this event. For everyone complaining in the chat, we've done eight free full streams from the USPO. These ones are exclusive for our PokerGo members. We got to keep the lights on somehow. Exactly. And if you only enjoy our free content, that's also totally fine. But please don't cry about it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or Twitch or Facebook. We have plenty more free content to come in 2022. Four of diamonds on the turn. Takes away and out for Stephen Chitwick. A king or a seven is all he needs to stay alive. Five, of course, would give Wiseman a straight. Eight on the river. That doesn't do it for Chidwick. Wiseman gets eliminated, or Wiseman gets another elimination under his belt, up to 4.7 million. Chidwick takes home $98,000 for fifth place. We are down to four, and Dylan Wiseman has an overwhelming chip lead over the remaining players. My name is Remco Rinkema. Follow me on Twitter at Remco Rinkema, and he is Donnie Peters, Donnie underscore Peters. Appreciate you guys all tuning in and watching. This was our free preview of today's huh? final table, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. What did?